Multiple times in the Babylonian Talmud, we read about machal ben drosai, the dish of ben drosai. The medieval commentators, Rashi, Rambam, dispute the details of such a dish. But for now, you only need to know three things. Number one, Ben Drosai seems to have been a fugitive, always on the run. Number two, his dish was undercooked because he had no time to spare. And number three, a Braita in the name of Hanania states, Kol shehu kemachal ben drosai mutar lahashoto al gabei kira ve'af al pi she'en gufa uktuma. Anything that is cooked, like the dish of ben drosai, it is permitted to keep it on the stove when Shabbat begins, even though the stove is not swept of coals and the coals are not covered with ashes. Because the food is already considered cooked, there is no concern that a person will violate Shabbat by stoking the coals to continue the cooking process. In other words, if you're rushing before Shabbat, as long as your food is like the dish of ben drosai, that is, cooked to the very bare minimum, you can leave it on the warm coals even as the sun sets. Machal ben drosai is one of my favorite halachic concepts not only because I'm usually rushing before Shabbat. It represents the realness of the rabbis. We might ideally prefer a well-cooked meal, but Ben Drosai's dish sets the bare minimum standard of acceptability. That standard is not set by a distinguished rabbi, but by a fugitive. And the rabbis here take seriously the imperfect world as it exists rather than as we might wish it to be. And then it demands that we find a way of fulfilling our commitments in such a world. For me, Machal ben Drosai also stands as a metaphor for the halachic enterprise more generally, especially as it has been taught to me at Yeshivat Maharat. Caring for the individual, even the fugitive. Answering according to a person's unique circumstances, valuing each detail, considering every possible situation, navigating between competing values, tackling the complexities of our tradition in order to create a sustainable and inclusive community, and doing so in the messiness of our present imperfect world. These are some of the lessons that I have learned with my chevrutot, from my teachers, and in our class discussions, and that I will be taking with me in the work ahead. Thank you.